Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this very exciting video of algebraic equations where we are going to take up one quartic equation challenge. The given equation is x plus 1 whole power 5 minus x power 5 equal to 1. Equation is quartic because once we will expand x plus 1 whole power 5, it will cancel x power 5 with negative x power 5. So leading term will have x power 4. So equation is quartic. I will demonstrate two different methods to solve this problem. Let me write here method number one. And I will begin with Pascal's triangle. So I will find out what would be the coefficients once I will expand x plus 1 whole power 5. So 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1, and last row 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. These are our coefficients for power 5 expansion. So let me write one time a plus b whole power 5 expansion. So this is a power 5 plus you can see you have coefficients also. 5 times a power 4 b plus 10 times a cube b square plus 10 times a square b cube then 5 a b power 4 and last term would be b power 5 only you can see 1 5 10 10 5 1 are the coefficients basically okay now i will use x plus 1 whole power 5 so if i will write x plus 1 whole power 5 i will write x power 5 plus 5 x power 4 plus 10 x cube here you can put b equal to 1 in this expansion plus 10 x square plus 5 x plus 1 now i will put this value to our equation so what we are having after that let me write here x power 5 plus 5 x power 4 plus 10x cube plus 10x square plus 5x plus 1 minus this was our expansion of x plus 1 whole power 5 equal to minus x power 5 equal to 1. Now check which term we can cancel easily. So x power 5 we will cancel out. 1 also we can cancel from both sides. So what is left? That is 5x power 4 plus 10x cube plus 10x square plus 5x equal to 0. Now I can take 5x common or divide this equation with 5 first. So I will write x power 4 plus 2x cube plus 2x square plus x equal to 0. Now I will take x common out. So x cube plus 2x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So one solution is straight away clear. x will be equal to 0. So two product of two functions equal to 0. So we will write either x is equal to 0 or this cubic equation will be 0. So cubic equation was x cube plus 2x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So this is our solution directly. Now I will solve this cubic polynomial. So I will take the help of synthetic division method. So first I will write 2x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. I can take 2x common or x common. So I will directly use rational root theorem. So the eligible coefficient factors for the constant term that would be plus minus 1. Leading term you can see it is plus minus 1. So let us put over there x is equal to 1. 1 is not solution because all terms are positive. So let me put x equal to minus 1. So minus 1 whole cube minus 1 plus 2 times minus 1 square so 2. 2 times minus 1 so minus 2 plus 1 
and if you will see it is coming out 0. That means x equal to minus 1 is our base solution. Now I will write our cubic equations coefficient to apply synthetic division method. So what I will consider the coefficient of x cube 1, the coefficient of x square 2, coefficient of x 2 and constant 1. Let us put over there one line base solution this is x is equal to minus 1. So leading term leading coefficient as it is 1 now minus 1 times 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 times 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 times 1 minus 1 0. So here we are having coefficient for quadratic equation. So I will write x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Let us solve this quadratic equation now. One root is clear that is x is equal to minus 1. Let's solve this equation. x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. x is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So I will write minus 1 plus minus square root negative 3. So let me write directly i square root 3 over 2. So if it is reminding actually the cube root of unity omega and omega square. So here we are having two complex solution minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. Two complex solution and this solution is real x equal to minus 1 and one more solution that was x common. So x is equal to 0. So two real and two imaginary for this quartic equation challenging problem. Now I will showcase the second way of solving without knowing anything you can find out your answer simply applying the fundamental of algebra that is let me write here. I will write this equation as I will write x plus 1 whole square and then I will write x plus 1 whole cube. Then I will write x power 5 when right hand side is 1. This is our method number 2. Let's expand. Simply expand it. x square a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2ab. So x square plus 2x plus 1. Now a plus b whole cube. a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube minus x power 5 equal to 1. Now I will simply expand these two brackets and I will collect my terms. So once you will expand simple multiplication you will get from here let me write here you will get x power 5 plus 5x power 4 plus same way same expansion terms you will be having 10x cube plus 10x square plus 5x plus 1 and then I will write the remaining terms as it is equal to 1. Now same way I can cancel these two terms rest is as it is same. Now what is left? I will take 5x straight away common. So what would be left? x cube plus 2x square. Then I will write 2x. Then I will write 1. 5x is common equal to 0. Now I can see x is equal to same way same solution x is equal to 0. And once you will apply x cube plus 2x square plus 2x equal plus 1 equal to 0 then you will be having from this equation in the same manner you will get three solutions x equal to negative 1 and two solutions are imaginary minus 1 plus minus i root through root 3 over 2 omega and omega square now let's verify the real solutions i will write here verification Let us put the very first value x is equal to 0. Okay, if I will put x is equal to 0, you can see it is 
zero plus one one power five minus zero equal to one. So one equal to one. Verified. So this is true. Now come to the second value, second real value, that is x is equal to negative one. So negative one plus one whole power five. Minus negative one whole power five, it should come out one. So let's see, this will be zero. Now minus of negative one whole power five, which is negative one. So negative so one, which is your RHS. So this is also true. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care.